If you can get this game down and you can get so good at this, you guys will make so much money, it'll be like counting Nintendo points. Every morning, every morning, okay, I think it's good for leaders. And listen to me, a lot of times leaders, they think their team's better than they are, right? Right? Or we've got so much going on, when we think about training our team, we're like, man, this is going to be a burden, right? Like, like they're not going to want to do it. I don't care what they want to do, right? What I care about, thank you, baby doll. What I care about is what's good for them. Does that make sense? Look, your kids, I'm just asking you this, right? Your kids, it's good for you to take care of your kids. It's good for you to take care of your team. It is a, sometimes a grind taking care of our kids, man. I love them to death, but they're crazy. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? They're our kids, man. We're going to die for them. I would die for my team, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but like, guess what? I would die for my team. I really would. I want to tell you guys something really cool, okay? So I see a lot of managers. Now, listen, this is good for everybody. And they say, my people don't train. Listen to me. They look up to you, and they're, you're setting the standard for the whole company. Does that make sense? Yeah. They don't, they don't care about anything because you don't care about it. Listen, I'm a very strong-willed person, right? Okay, I'm very strong-willed. You're not going to convince me that training is bad. It's physically impossible. How could a team sway a leader that training is bad? It doesn't make sense. Look, do you think self-improvement is bad for you? Okay, then that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. What we need to do, I want everybody to do this, and this is why we're ending with this. And, and I grabbed all these guys. These guys did a great job. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Honest, honestly, a lot of the times I don't mess with the leaders. You know why I don't mess with the leaders? Because they take it personal. And they don't, they don't want to get caught up in it, right? Because they want their team to get better, but they don't want to get caught up in it. Now, at the end of the day, if a leader gets up here and doesn't do a great job and he gets embarrassed... I mean, honestly, it's like they may like end up hating me or some shit, right? But at the end of the day, if they get up here and they test themselves, these guys feel more alive than ever. When they're walking out of here, they're going to be like, dude, that shit was fun, man. I need to do that more. Am I right? He's like, dude, we're going home and we're battle testing all day. You know why? Because once you get a taste of it, you start to understand how good it is for you, okay? So what I would like is when everybody goes home, do me a favor. Set the standard for your entire company. Your leaders, they don't train. Guess what? Do me a favor. Tell everybody, say, hey, guys, every day we're going to practice role-playing objections. We're going to try to trap each other. We're going to hit each other with objections. We're going to have fun doing it. We're not going to judge each other. And guess what? We're going to do it upstairs in the conference room for 30 minutes every morning. Okay? And if you guys don't want to do it, I'll do it by myself. Okay? But if you want to do it, I'm taking the, the front lead on this, and I'll do it. How many of you guys think your managers, your leaders, your GMs would think really highly of you if you started doing this on your own and they didn't have to ask you? Wouldn't that be cool, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys, listen to me. You work for the, for the position you want, not the one you have, okay? You want to be a high, a high leader? You want to move up the ranks? Guess what? The guy that walks like he runs a company, talks like he runs a company, acts like the run, he runs a company, he's the guy going to be running the company soon, okay? Leaders are looking for people to stand by their sides and run with. But the last thing you want to do is have to tell everybody what they have to do all day long. Would you agree? So if you guys will go back into your stores, regardless. Remember how Sean said people are going to say you're stupid, right? Everybody told me I was stupid, and I sat back and made more money than all of them. And eventually, most of them came around and wanted to try to do what I did. But I'm going to tell you, watching these leaders get up here, it just shows you this. They put their pride on the line. You know what? That's the best thing that we can do every single day. And if you do that, you know, watching Charlie get up here, right? Now you're like, oh, dude, hey, can we restart? Let's do another nine hours, <laughs> right? Guys, listen, this is the life I live. Like, honestly, like what we're doing in this room, like this isn't like an event and then like we don't like do anything for, you know, 30 days. Like we do this all day every day. And just like you guys sell, like every single morning, we knock the dust off each other, right? We think about problems or things that may come up, and we play chess with our life. And we're like, we could foresee these problems happening today, and we practice these problems. And my team, they go after each other right here on this stage every morning before we start our day. The reason why is so that we're sharp. The last thing that I want to do is be dull and not gain ground. I want to, I want to, I mean, I want to gain ground. I want to be sharp. I want to win. I hate losing. There's nothing worse than losing, right? Like when you lose, like it sucks, man. 
But guess what? It's part of life. You have to lose sometimes, okay? But when you lose, you got to get pissed off, okay? We don't win casually. So just watching them up here, man, just hopefully you guys will see how fun this is. You guys need to take this back home. We do take this very serious, but at the end of the day, this is a game. This literally is a game. If you can get this game down and you can get so good at this, you guys will make so much money, it'll be like counting Nintendo points. Like, I don't even count it as money because I don't feel like I should deserve that much money, okay? Like, you're telling me I get paid a lot of money to walk around, laugh, smile, literally close deals and have fun? You're telling me we can make this kind of money? Like, <laughs> like that's stupid. I see people doing real freaking serious stuff, and we're getting to, like, play on this playground being called closers. Oh, my God. But guess what? Everybody in the world needs somebody to help increase the state, increase their energy, be in a great mood, take the pressure off, off, off things when they buy, right? Literally, like people pay, you have no idea what people will pay for you to be able to make people, um, be able to spend money peacefully. That's what we do. We teach you guys how to go out in a world full of amateurs that are making it really hard to buy shit and they're turning off buying. And then you guys go out there and do a phenomenal job and be public speakers and be great at what you do and have this high energy. And do just be in love with sales and watch people spend money faster than ever and they love it. Isn't it cool? When you guys leave here, recreate, change. I would love to see you guys all the time. Hey, you guys can help me build this program. When you guys see problems, when you see there's certain objections, every seminar is different. We change them every single week, every single month. We're always changing them. But the cool thing about it is, is be a part of the growth. You know, next time, be like, dude, I'm getting up there. I'm going to handle that. Hey, this is something I struggle with. Let's go. Connect with other like-minded people that are here, right? Honestly, man, you guys never know how you guys will connect down the road. But the coolest thing about it is, is that we want to watch your story. And the next time you're here, like the next time, like I want to see you get up here and go to war. You know, I remember the first time he learned going knee to knee during negotiating, right? You remember that? Dude, you're... Yeah, you, you start freaking locking up deals left and right. It's so crazy how you can shift one thing and all of a sudden lots of money comes in. Guys, so find your holes, right? Find your leaks. Secondly, guess what? Have the courage to role play and practice every day. I really think that that's everybody's hole. Remember, if you'll train 4% of your day, which is one hour, you'll do it for 365 days. I guarantee in one year, if you can be disciplined, right? Okay, dreams come with a price. You guys are all wearing them on this right here on your hand. Dreams come with a price. If you'll be willing to pay the price, and it obviously says 365 committed for 365 days, you guys will be the top 1% earners in your industry one year from now. I'm 42. By the time that I'm 43, I'll be that person. I swear on my life, the world needs you to tell your story. They need you to tell your story. It's going to be so cool when you guys are telling it. Guys, I haven't told you all mine, but I'm just telling you, if I went through and told you, it looks like this. Life's good, life's good, life's good. Bam, something crazy happens. But guess what? We all hold firm together. We don't freaking break. We don't sell our will to win. And guess what? Boom, we push through it. Some of you guys, and we'll finish with this. If things haven't been going your way right now, guess what? Sometimes when things get really tough and it doesn't seem like anything's working and it seems like you're going to crash, that's really when you're on the verge of like a really big bait breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? Some of my biggest breakthroughs, the biggest things that happened, it wasn't like everything was going amazing and then we took off like a rocket ship. It was like beating your head against a freaking wall and then finally it broke. And you're like, dude, that was crazy. But it was so rewarding. You know what I'm saying? Guys, if you don't work for something, you don't appreciate it, right? That's why if you give somebody, like if somebody wins the lottery, they get 100 million, they lose it in one year. They've never had any money, but they'll blow 100 million in a year. And then they're back to being broke. That's why you guys got to pay the price. There's no better investment in you. But lastly, if somebody paid for you to come here, if you got invited in here, whoever brought you here, however you came here in this room, go tell those people thank you. And then if it was just you and you got yourself here, dude, thank yourself. Because what you're doing right now is you're telling yourself that you're worth it. That's it. And if you take care of yourself, and if you fall in love with yourself, because you got to like yourself to win in life, right? Yep. Like, if you don't like you, you're not going to win. Everybody needs to know that, okay? If you decide to start falling in love with yourself and you like you, guess what? Other people are going to like you. Because how the hell can you freaking get anybody to like you if you don't like you? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect anybody to like me if I didn't like me, okay? 
So all these little stupid things, these aren't tricks. These are like the foundation to becoming the best in the world. So don't ever question yourself. Don't ever doubt yourself, guys. Love you. You're amazing. I'll see you guys next time. Let's do this. Let's take a picture outside. Is that cool?